What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking our very first look at Analyst Builder. Now no intro today because I'm too excited and I have way too much to talk about so let's just jump right into it. Now if this is your very first time hearing about Analyst Builder, I'll give you a really quick introduction to what it is, why we created it, and then I'm going to pull up the platform and we're going to dive into everything that is on there. So we created Analyst Builder to be a one-stop shop for people who are trying to become data analysts. It's going to have full-length courses that I created so I will be your instructor, as well as having a questions page that you can go and practice your technical skills in SQL and Python. It's meant to be an all-in-one platform, so you don't have to go to three or four different websites and get memberships to all of those. You can just go to one place and it's all gonna be there. Now, at the very end, I'll talk a lot more about how and why we created it, which I think is really interesting, but I'm too excited. I wanna show you the website. So let's jump onto my screen and let's take a look. So this is the landing page of Analyst Builder. And one thing I wanna mention before we really dive into the platform and take a look at everything is that this is not currently available yet. If you are watching this the day that I'm releasing this video, if you want to be notified when it is available. You need to come over here to analystbuilder.com and sign up. Just put your email in here. You'll get an automated uh, email saying, hey, you're part of the waitlist. When we launch, the only way I'm going to notify anybody is if you are on this waitlist. I'm not going to put it on Twitter or LinkedIn or YouTube. Only people who are part of this waitlist. Now, this is the beta launch. So this is the first time that anybody is testing it out and anybody is trying it. So we know as a team, because I have a lot of people I'm working with, we know that there are going to be, you know, little things that we need to fix or, or update and improve. And that's where you guys come in because you guys are our beta testers. You guys get to try out the platform um, and we are extremely appreciative and we're so excited about it. Um, but let's take a look at the platform and I'll talk a lot more about that as we go through. So this is the landing page. And you can see we can explore courses and explore questions. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But if we scroll down, uh, talks a little bit about what Analyst Builder is, some of the features and what you can get out of it, as well as just comparing Analyst Builder to other platforms as well. And a little bit about the editor and how that works, as well as right down here, you can watch this video about how we created Analyst Builder, why we created Analyst Builder, just highlights kind of what it is. This video that you're watching right now it goes a lot more in depth. The next thing is that we are gonna have a Discord server. The Discord server is for your feedback. We wanna hear what you think, if you're finding bugs, if you're finding any issues, if there's something you don't like, you can put it in the Discord. And I, along with everyone on my team, is gonna be on that Discord all the time, making sure we're picking up all these bugs and issues so that we can fix them really quickly. And really, we're just trying to improve the website to make it as good as humanly possible, as quickly as possible. But let's go up really quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to this questions page first. Now, this might just be my favorite part of the entire platform because it's just so fun. And there's over 100 questions on here. There's, of course, free questions that anybody can take. And then, of course, we have premium questions as well. They range in difficulty. So if you come over here to difficulty, there's easy, moderate, hard, and then there's very hard. Now, these easy questions are just that. They're pretty simple questions. They're really just testing your super basic knowledge of SQL or Python. For a technical interview, this is for like entry level or maybe even like internship level. Again, it's pretty simple. If you go to more things like the moderate or hard, that's gonna be like mid-level or even senior level. These very hard ones, um, and these are fantastic. These really hard ones are what I would consider extremely hard. I don't know if you're gonna be asked questions that are this difficult in an interview. I don't think I've been asked questions this difficult, but I created them because they're extremely fun. In fact, I tested them with ChatGPT. I plugged in everything. ChatGPT could not solve any of these. Now, if you're studying for a technical interview, especially especially for mid-level or senior level, focus on those moderate or those hard technical questions. These very hard ones are just that. They're super hard. They're really, really fun. They're super tough to actually get right. And they're more of a challenge because I don't think a lot of people are gonna be able to solve them. So if you're able to solve these without looking at the answer, that's extremely impressive. So you should send me a screenshot of that on LinkedIn or Twitter or wherever. I will be in high praise, like that's really impressive. Now let's actually go and take a look at one of these questions. I don't wanna do one of the very hard ones because those are really hard. Um, let's just come down here. Let's go to gamer tags. I think that one looks like a good one. So we have gamer tags here and here's the question. And then we have down here, we have hints and your expected output. So it at least gives you, you know, here's what you're trying to get in your output exactly. And then down here we have our gamer tags table or data frame. Now really quickly, you can do these questions in Python, MySQL, PostgreSQL, or Microsoft SQL Server. Now, really quickly, I wanna stop and give you some context to why this is so amazing, because 
You can buy online editors and I could have just integrated it into the platform, but you probably only would have gotten Python and MySQL or Python and PostgreSQL. Most of these online platforms don't have all of them. So we created from scratch our own custom editor, which is genuinely, I think, better than almost any other one that I've seen out there. And I've used a lot of them. Um, but you can come in here and we can go to MySQL and we can run this and we'll get we're just getting the table because we're just selecting everything. But then you can come in here and try to solve this problem. And I'm not gonna go through it right now. Now, once you've actually gotten the answer, you've written all your code out, you can come over here and click check solution. Now, this is going to check if your answer is correct. If it is correct, it's gonna give you this little green check mark, which is great. Uh, that's what you want to see. And if not, this little red X uh, makes you feel terrible. But if you're having trouble, we always have hints. And you can come over here and check the solution. So I have the solution in everything, um, whatever you need it in. Now we're doing it in MySQL. Let's just pull this over, because this is a fairly, I mean, this is a semi-simple one. I hate to say that, but it's like a medium one. We're just using concatenation. We're taking the first three letters and their first name, the year and their birth date, and creating a gamer tag. That's what the question asks. And we can run this code. And this looks like our final output, and then we check the solution. So we're gonna click check solution. And then we get that green check mark, which means it was correct. Now, don't do that. Don't just go to the solution and you know get the answer. This is supposed to be for learning, right? You're supposed to come on here. You're supposed to really work through these problems and learn from it. And if you get stuck, you can always come over here to the video solution. This is one of the biggest benefits of Analyst Builder is that I walk through this question with you. I walk you through the logic, how I'm actually thinking about it. And there's almost no other platforms that do that. They just have the answer. And I always wanted somebody to walk through it with me, especially when I was first starting out because I didn't understand it. And so now I get to do that with you. I get to actually walk you through every single question on how to do it, my thought process. I go really in depth and I think it's just really, really fun. And then of course we can come up here to your submissions. Now, if we look at this, I have a lot of MySQL, PostgreSQL, MySQL, and you can go and see exactly, you know, when you submitted that. And if you want to, you can take a look at your answer and you can even copy that answer as well and bring it right over here and paste it. And so it's all there and it's the same for all the questions. Now, again, if we go back to the questions, we're gonna have our free ones right here. We have over a hundred questions right now, but this is just the beta launch. We'll be creating more and adding to this. And then there'll be more free ones as well. But if you want access to the very difficult questions, you will have to get the premium. And there's uh, like over a hundred of these and they're just all really unique, really interesting. They really challenge you. And honestly, this is one of the ways that I learned when I was starting out. So I feel like I had to have it on the platform. And I feel like we just did an incredible job with it because it is so good. It is flawless. It runs so well. And so it's just a really great experience. And I love the dark theme because I hate it when it's really bright and it burns my eyes. I'm a dark theme guy. So it just turned out exactly how I wanted it. So that's enough raving about the question section. Let's go back and we're gonna come over here to the course section. Now for the beta launch, we're gonna have these four courses. I already have more that are being edited that will be done in you know a month. So I'll be releasing more courses very consistently. The first one is a MySQL interview crash course. So if you have an interview coming up in SQL, you wanna pass that technical interview or really know what you're talking about, this is the one for you. I go into even general technical interview questions. I'm not gonna dive into every single one of these, um, but go in and check it out. For this one, I'll go into the Python programming one and you can see we have 80 lessons, 12 questions and five projects. That's another thing that's really unique about these courses. So this is the Python programming one. Um, you can come in here. What's really unique about this platform is that we don't just have video lessons. We also have built in with the editor. You can come in here and there are technical questions as well. So while you're learning, you're learning, oh, I'm learning comparison operators. Then you get to practice comparison operators right here in the editor window, and I can check if it's right or if it's wrong. And if you can't solve it, that's okay. We always have the solution in here, so you can go ahead and go to the next lesson. This is exactly how I had envisioned it when we were creating this. Um, but then you can come over here to the comparison operators. This is the lesson before that. You can watch the lesson on comparison operators, and then you come down here, you can read a little bit about it, you can mark that this lesson was complete. Then we'll go on to the next one. And then you have the question on comparison operators. So you get to practice as you go, which I just think is really, really fun. Now I'm gonna come back here really quickly just to this course page, because if you come down here in this course specifically, so this is Python, this is like 
I think one of the best Python courses that I've seen out there. I am incredibly, incredibly proud of it. Um, the thing that I like the most about it is it's just a one-time buy. Okay, it's kind of like the Udemy style, right? You just buy it one time, you have it forever. I didn't want to create a platform where you have to pay to keep access to something. Once you pay for it, I think you should just get it forever. That's kind of my motto. And I've tried to keep it really affordable and we'll look at pricing in just a little bit. But with this, you can kind of get an overview of what you're gonna learn in this course. And then of course, you can purchase it right there. Now this is just one course, right? We have multiple courses. And so go through, take a look at all of them. Honestly, I'm super, super proud of all these courses. And again, we have more on the way already. Like they're already being edited. I've already recorded them um, and I'm recording more as we speak. So I have so many courses that are gonna be on here with even just like three months. And so this page is just gonna be filled. You're gonna have to scroll down because there's gonna be 10, 15 courses just in the next like six or nine months. It's gonna be amazing. Now let's go over to pricing because pricing is very important. This is, everything you see on here is the beta pricing. I'm not doing anything like um, you have to enter a discount code. If you are coming on here and you're part of the beta launch, then you can get these prices. Now, once we do the full launch, it might be a little bit higher, but I'm gonna try to keep it pretty affordable all the time. Now, you always get the free. This is just the questions. We also have courses and bundles. Um, for the questions, you're gonna get it free. So you get those free questions. You don't have to purchase anything for those. Um, but if you want access to all of the premium questions and the very hard questions, you can do any of these. And all of these are great options. The monthly is really cheap, it's just 10 bucks a month. Um, and you get access to everything, or you can pay for a whole year, which would be 99. So just, you know, kind of the same thing, except instead of paying monthly, you get a little bit of a discount paying for a year. And then for lifetime, so you can have it for the rest of your life, uh, you can pay 149. Now, if you're just trying it out and you're not sure if you're gonna like it or not, I highly recommend just going with the monthly just to test it out, just try it out, see if you like it. I'm gonna be adding massive amounts of content to this platform. So, you know, every time you get on, it's most likely gonna have more questions or more courses on there. Um, but let's go over to the courses. So for these courses, again, I tried to keep them as affordable as I could. I hope you know that we are doing all the video hosting. We have all the servers on the back end running. This is not a free website to maintain. It's several thousand to maintain per month. So it's not cheap, um, but I'm trying to keep this as affordable as possible. So for these uh, advanced MySQL course, it's $24. Again, all this is beta pricing. Um, this is the interview crash course, 24, beginner Python, 31, and my analytics, 31. Now, I worked hard because originally I had these priced a little bit higher because I thought our servers uh, and our hosting were gonna cost a little bit more. But when I saw that it was a little bit less than I thought, I reduced the pricing because again, I want everyone to be able to come on here and learn on this platform. I don't wanna make it 50, 60, $75 per course. That just, that would hurt me. I would feel really bad if I ever did that. So never let me do that. The last thing we have is a bundle. So these bundles will give you access to more than just one item. The first bundle we have is this ultimate beta course bundle. So it's gonna get all those four courses for $89. So instead of paying, I think it was like 110 for all of them, you can just buy you know, all of them in one bundle for $89, a reduced price just for beta users. Then we have lifetime access to Analyst Builder. And so this especially is one of the best deals that you're gonna find because $249 is what you pay for like one year of Coursera. This, you're gonna get lifetime access. And so every course that I create in the future, you're gonna have access to immediately. You won't ever have to pay for it. So if you're gonna get the lifetime of the questions, which was 149, and you wanted to buy some of these courses, the beta bundle, that's already like 250. So this 250 is just gonna give you access to this plus all of the future courses that I will ever make. Again, this is only available during the beta launch. Once we actually fully launch this and hopefully around two to three months, once we get a lot of the bugs worked out and you help us with that, um, this is going away. So you can only get this within the next like month or two. So if you're wanting this, highly recommend getting this one because it's just gonna be a fantastic deal. When I have like 20 courses on here and you get all the questions forever, it's gonna be the equivalent of getting it for like $10 a course and the questions for free. It's just, um, it's a really good deal. I'm not trying to pressure you into anything. Just pricing wise, uh, it's a really good deal if you really want to invest in the platform and like the future courses that I will be putting out. Now, one small thing to note just on beta because we're gonna try to fix this in the future is you can only purchase one thing at a time. So if you want this, you just come down here, you click purchase. If you want individual courses, you're gonna purchase one at a time. And so that is the platform as of right now. And I'll just go back to the homepage. Um, that's the platform. And this is just the beta. 
I cannot tell you how many things we have planned for this website. I mean, I don't wanna ruin them all, but we're absolutely gonna be integrating some AI into here. So that'll be really, really cool once we get that integrated. We're also gonna have something where you can practice data visualization on here. So you can go in and code and you can practice your data visualization with data sets. We're gonna have a resource page that'll have data sets, resumes, cover letters, and a ton of other things as well. So that is Analyst Builder. That's what we're gonna have for the beta launch. If you have not already, go sign up on analystbuilder.com for the waitlist. That is the only way that you're gonna hear that it is launched and you can go and start taking it because as of right now or the morning that I'm recording this, we have over 5,000 people on the waitlist. That's a lot of people. So if we open it up to just everybody, that could be 10,000 people, it could potentially break our website and we don't want that. So we're really trying to limit it to just people who are interested in it. We'll send out an email and then as you know, people wake up throughout the world and they see that email, they can go and do it. Kind of spreads, uh, kind of softens the load on the servers so that they can handle a lot of people testing it out and trying it out at the same time. So now that we've looked at the platform, I'm just gonna talk for a little bit about how we created it, why we created it, um, and just chat for a little bit because I am extremely, extremely excited about this. I started talking with the person I ended up partnering with uh, to build this over a year ago, back in July of 2022. We started having conversations about the feasibility, how difficult it is, the cost, um, all of these things. And then we started building it um, almost a year ago. So like right around one year ago. So this is a long, long, long project. My initial vision for it was really simple, um, a lot simpler than it was. And I wanted to use a lot of built-in stuff um, just to get it up and running faster. But as we started getting into it, we realized that a lot of these built-ins had a lot of limitations. Like I couldn't add the editor into the courses section for a built-in course platform that we could just purchase. Or I couldn't have the editor how I wanted it. So it would only give me Python and MySQL, but none of the other ones. And I was like, I really, really, really want all of those different things. And we wanna add more to that. So, you know, we're gonna try to integrate R as well for people who wanna use R. And all of these things were just really customizable things that you just can't buy. And so I started working with this guy named Kassan. He is genius level. He has been just the best partner in this out of anyone. He runs a company called WaveSync and they've just been amazing to work with. And Kassan has been by my side the entire time helping me make revisions, just kind of bringing some logic to it. And he's basically built a lot of this platform himself. And so I, along with him, we've just been building up the content, building up the infrastructure. And it's taken so long because I did not want to kind of skimp on the quality. I've seen a lot of other platforms out there that just were not that great that people are putting out. And I'm like, I don't want to be that guy who puts out this like inferior product and wants people to pay for it uh, and charge a lot of money. I wanted to put out a superior product to almost anyone out there and charge less than them. That's just what I wanted because I remember when I was first starting out, I had a very small budget. So I couldn't afford, you know, all these boot camps or these really expensive programs. And so I'm trying to make it for somebody who was in my shoes when I was first starting out. Um, somebody who's trying to break in but doesn't have a thousand dollars to spend just on whatever. So it's a really reasonably priced platform, which I'm super proud of because again, I was trying to keep the cost down. Um, but building it, it just in and of itself was really difficult. On the back end of everything that you saw is a really complex infrastructure. Um, we have multiple databases running at the same time. We have, um, and I'm not gonna give too much information because I intend on having Kassan, if you're watching this, I intend on having Kassan on the channel to kind of break down a lot of the, um, how we built it. Cause it's just, I have learned more than I ever thought I'd learn about this. It's absolutely fascinating. And so I'm not going to dive deep into it, but we have all these databases on the back end running, which you're hitting off during the questions. We're using Vimeo to host our videos. So that's just some random background information if you're interested. Um, but everything else, all the designs, you know, I had these preliminary designs in my head. Um, th the company that I'm working with, WaveSync, has changed almost all of them for the better. I'm not a graphic designer. Um, and I was like, here's what I want it to look like. And we kind of built that out initially. And then we were like, let's make this so much better. And then we did that. And that's what you're seeing. Like that is just a lot of hard work has gone into that and a lot of planning and, and graphic design, things that are not my crazy strong suit. So this platform was not just me. It was an entire team of like really smart people, really working hard and making this happen. So just kudos to them. But now I just want to touch on why I created this platform because I had a lot of opportunities to create courses and do things in the past. Um, and I kind of turned all of them down mostly because I was working a full-time job, but secondarily because 
I didn't just want to create a course and put it on something like Udemy, which I partnered with Udemy before. I love Udemy, great prices, but I wanted to go beyond that. I wanted to have that editor integrated. I wanted to have, you know, more control over the pricing and all these different aspects that I just couldn't do through Udemy or any other platform. I actually tried to partner with several different platforms to kind of make something like this with their existing platform, but that just wasn't their vision for their business. So they turned me down, which I totally get. And so that just led me to, I'm going to create it myself. I had no idea how to do it. I just knew that I wanted to do it. Um, and genuinely, it's turned out better than I could have ever anticipated. And what's so great about Analyst Builder is we get to keep adding to it and add anything I want. So all those different things that we were talking about, I have a sheet uh, right now that has 15 different things that I want to add to it that are just going to be really unique and things that you don't find on other platforms. And so, you know, I just didn't want the quality of what you're going to get or how I teach you to suffer because other platforms didn't have what I wanted. And so again, that's just another reason why I decided to create, you know, analyst builder, create my own thing. With all that being said, and I know I can be kind of long winded. I could talk about this forever. Analyst builder is going to be an amazing platform. I cannot wait for the beta users to get in and start using it, start giving feedback in the discord. I really, really, really want to hear your feedback. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you found any bugs, all of these things you can tell us in that Discord. And lastly, I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for being beta users on this platform. It's a completely new platform, hasn't been tested, and so you guys are kind of the early trailblazers to help make this platform amazing. With that being said, if you want to be a beta user and you are not already on the waitlist, go to analystbuilder.com so you can sign up for that waitlist. You'll be hearing from us very, very shortly.